you didn't wake up uh, one day, you didn't come out the womb and say, hey, no. I'm going to own a brewing company. Take me back. Uh, yeah. What were you doing prior? What did your prior life look like? And, and talk to me in terms of, you know, education. D did yes. you go to, to, to high? Did you have any higher learning? Did you go to school? What did that look like? And then what were you doing before you decided to, to start this brewing company? No, absolutely. So let me take you back. So born and raised in Connecticut, college, uh, Boston, went to Northeastern, came home and joined the family business. I was on a co-op at Northeastern, came home. Parents, I come from parents who are entrepreneurs. Mom and dad have hustled and, and built a brand in their own way, a company for over 50 years. So I saw it as a kid growing up. So but when I came home from college, I, I dove into the family business like other people do. They pass down these companies generation to generation to generation. Did I ever think I was going to go into construction? Not really. I just respected my parents for doing that. But they said, you know, there's an opportunity for us to make as a family business to make a difference in our community. Because our thing was, Sean, you're coming to build in our communities, but you're not hiring us to build the projects and the developments and that we're living in. So Correct. I thought it was it was a conscious decision to embark and help and go into the family business. So that's what I did for 13 years. Because again, that is, you know, you don't see a lot of us in that industry. Okay. So you worked in construction in the family business. Yes. Okay. Yes. General contractor. So I was in charge of multi-million dollar construction projects. Because I'm going to tell you, when I got into the industry, I made a lot of noise. Yeah, because when you get in, one of my favorite quotes is that when you walk into a room and you're the only one that looks like you in the room, then you know, you know that you are in the right room because that's when change is going to happen. Love that. Love it. Okay. And I, I, and I say it over and it's one of, it's my, it's, it's my quote because I've been living this through my entrepreneurial journeys, but going back to that, walking in these rooms and there was none of us, I, I made sure that I spent the time in the family business to take it to another level. Uh, but so with that said, taking that experience was in, in, incredible. But I, for 13 years, I was in that. And moving forward, I went to Puerto Rico and ended up going to like the El San Juan Hotel. And I saw all these people dancing. I'm like, what are they doing? And they were dancing salsa. And Sean, when I tell you, I thought I was in a movie. It was it was so dope. It, the, I mean, the cigar bar was to my right. The, the salsa band was to my left. There were people where it was just so elegant. The energy, it was reeking of energy, class, and elegance. So anyway, long story short, I come home, tell the parents, I said, listen, love you, but I got to spread my wings. I'm going to open up a dance. I'm going to open up a salsa studio. Okay. Passion, paycheck, passion. I chose passion. And I will took two salsa lessons here in Connecticut and Sean immediately was addicted. And took that experience and opened up Elisa's House of Salsa in 2000. And so we, from construction to spreading my wings to go and do a passion, something that I loved, 20, we just celebrated 20 years last year at the salsa location. So the okay, pivot stop was there real. For one second. Yes. Stop there for one second. I'm sorry to interject. No, no. Mm -mm. Okay, this is... <laughs> It's such a dope story. Number one, I, I, and I love this, your parents are entrepreneurs. Uh, yes. A lot still working. Still working. working. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yep. Still working. So you were encouraged because as entrepreneurs, uh, you're encouraged to take risks. You're encouraged mm -hmm. to believe in yourself. Mm -hmm. So I love the fact that your parents instilled in you this be open-minded. You can do it. You don't necessarily have to, although you went to school, you don't necessarily right. have to 
put your resume out there and wait for somebody to call you and give you a job. Right. You can do this yourself. So I think that that is very dope because I interview a lot of entrepreneurs who, mm -hmm. um, you know, they, 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 the biggest struggle was getting over the hurdles of people believing in them. You know, as simple as that. Like they, they knew they wanted to be entrepreneurs, but they come from a very rigid background, a very traditional background. And it, it is right. not uh, encouraged or celebrated within the household. So I'm glad that right. your parents did that for you. But the part of your story that I really love, you know, okay, and we're gonna get into the brewing side, but you are a ballsy woman. Like, yeah, you, who, <laughs> who goes to Puerto Rico, falls in love with salsa, comes yeah. home and says, mom, dad, I love working with you, but I'm going to take some lessons and open up a salsa studio. Yeah, that's and that, that is amazing. Thank you. That's exactly what I did. And I will tell you, I'm going to piggyback off of something you just said. You know why I have the freedom to do that? And you're right. It's because my parents and my, my, my family system and my friends, they tell you anything you put your mind to, you can, and it sounds so cliche, Sean, but again, that's why I was comfortable enough coming home and telling my parents, love you, but I am going to do something that I can, that's a passion. I, I feel it. You have to have that support system. If you have that support system, that turns into mindset progression. Yes, you have does. to have, and that, again, that's one of the challenges of entrepreneurs. They don't have that solid rock to say, you know what? That's, that's right. Give up all those projects that are making you millions of dollars and those trips and those fancy cars and the jewelry that you, that you're in the new cars every, you know, other month. If, but if you have that support system that says, you know what, you're go into it and we've got your back. People need that. Entrepreneurs need to know that. And it's a simple go on. You have our blessings. So very well. Yeah. I love that you said that because that is so true. You know, it's something that I dealt with even in my own household. Uh, I come mm -hmm. from, you know, I would live with my grandfather. Uh, my grandfather was very, very traditional in, in old school in his way of thinking. Yes. So to be able to break free of what he in his mind had planned for me. Um, yes you know, not getting that support. That was a very different, just for me to get over that hump. Like, look, I know what you consider success, what, what, what that looks like for you. It's very right. traditional, but that's right. not my journey. This right. is not my life. And I think that I would have made this move so much sooner into the world of entrepreneurship. Right. And I just had the blessings from the people I looked up to. And right. I we know they love me. I, I'm crystal clear that my, yeah. my parents and, 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 and my grandfather loved me. But what they saw as, you know, these are the steps to take towards success was just not what I had in mind. And that was right. a major hurdle to overcome. Yeah. You know, we're, we're old school traditionalists. We don't want to disappoint. You don't disappoint in, in, in you know, our family. It's Correct. like, you don't, want to, because you, you know, they have a different mindset and, you know, sometimes it's like, you know, this, the season, but then, you know, there's, it's, it's too modern. I know what you're talking about. We don't want to disappoint, but then there's a time where we have to break that and move with the flow. So yeah, you have to have that, that security. You have to have that new mindset and to show folks back in the day, that, you know, we can, we can do this. We can use what you've instilled in us, but we could add a little, you know, extra little spice to it and do it, do it differently. And it's okay. Change is okay. Yeah. Before I transition, I, I, I just want to say to any parents, any parents yeah. who are watching right now, please listen to this segment. Please rewind this segment. Yes. Uh, please, no matter what your thoughts are, no matter what right. it is that you have been taught, if you have a child Mm. that really strongly believes in something that might be so far-fetched or it might yep. be so non-traditional. Come on. Support them anyway. You have to. Get behind have them to. and tell them you can do this. 
Don't discourage them. Don't because of your own limitations in terms right. of vision and self-belief, instill those ideas on them. So please allow this, this just this segment right here to be something that allows you to open up a part of your mind to be more open-minded and more supportive of your kids in the event that they are pursuing something that to you might seem like a waste of time or why are you doing this? You, you, you're so great in math, you should be doing that or you're so great in this, you, you should become a lawyer. It's their life. Just get behind them and you'd be so, if you, if you just allow them to plant the seeds and you help water it, You'd be so That's surprised right. what grows from it. You will be, they will be astonished at what grows from it. Because I always say, my parents from, I always say this quote, from tap shoes to tutus to salsa shoes to now brew boots. That's how, that's how my parents, and, and look at the shoes that I've, the, the tap shoes to the salsa shoes to the brew boots. Let your children literally have because whatever's in their brain or in their spirit is not in the parents you know spirit so like you said parents please if you see one indication that your child has a liking or a passion for something please pursue that yep get behind them please get behind 100 percent what's up guys thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video truly appreciate you if you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.